everybody in here, sitting inside the tiny house, having my coffee. I'm super tired. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't felt good for a couple days. So, uh, I think I'm just going to take a nap, but I've got something on the, uh, on the stove that I want to show you. Oh, oh, I also want to show you, uh, the apple butter. Something I took a little bit last night. So look at the apple butter. And the apple butter is done right. and it tastes delicious. Right. We're just putting it in these jars this Miss Donna gave us. We're not going to can them. We're just going to refrigerate them. Uh -huh. uh, these were like old cherry cherry jars. Uh -huh. So, oh my Perfect. gosh, this is so delicious. So I'm going to finish filling these up and see how many we get. And there we have it. We've got four jars, just a little bit bigger than a pint, plus one bowl, a Tupperware bowl, and it was really delicious. So out of that big, huge pot, that huge crock pot, this is what we got, and it really cooks down, and it turned out very delicious. I've already had it over like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, not jelly, peanut butter and apple butter. Um, and then I've had it over a uh, Melba toast, and I really, really love this. Okay, and now for the weird root thingy that I'm boiling up. I decided to cook up that weird root, the wild uh, sweet potato, so I got me in a pot of water, and this is young root, so I don't know how long I'm going to have to boil it. So I'm going to boil it until it's soft, remove the outer tough skin, and uh, just taste it without anything on it. Whoops, sorry about that, to see if it, uh, if it tastes all right. It was actually pretty easy to peel after it was all cooked up. It just peels pretty easily. And um, probably pretty much, maybe a little bit harder than a sweet potato after it's been cooked. But uh, I'm just going to get all this brown stuff off and, you know, just kind of give it a taste. Sort of stringy-like. There's It's fibrous, a little bit more fibrous than a real sweet potato. But there it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think it's going to taste good? We're going to give it a try. Okay, I'm just going to kind of trim off the edge and just take a very small bite. It's still got some of that brown stuff on it. <laughs> Let me try this. Hmm. That's not bitter at all. Mm -mm. It's kind of meaty. It doesn't taste sweet. It doesn't taste like a sweet potato at all. It's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's not unpleasant. I think it needs to be cooked a little bit longer. But it doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it up and put it in some kind of vegetable stew with some of the other vegetables I've grown. So let's just see what I can come up with. To the pot I added some green beans that I had harvested and a small onion that I had harvested and that jar of fermented uh, tomatoes with jalapeno peppers and herbs and seasonings in it and all that kind of good stuff and a can of garbanzo beans. Yeah, I did drain the can. I wish I wouldn't have but that's okay. It'll still turn out okay. So we're just going to stir this up and uh, try and decide if I need to add anything else to it. Hmm, what do I have sitting around? Oh gosh, I wish I had some mushrooms, but I don't. But I did have some green bell peppers and some yellow bell peppers, so I added them to the pot. Just gonna stir this all up and get the veggies all down in the sauce and let it cook for a little bit. Hmm, I still think it needs something. Since I had it, I went ahead and peeled one sweet potato and chopped it up in little cubes and added that to the pot, so I think that'll add some nice flavor too. I'm not sure if I'm going to serve this over rice or just eat it just like this, kind of like a stew. I think it'll be good. What do you think? And since I'm such a nice chicken mommy, I decided to go ahead and give the peels, I kind of chopped them up a little bit, to the Easter eggers. And yeah, they definitely gobbled it all down. It's time for the moment of truth, and I apologize for the fans in the background, but it's hot, so, you know. Anyhow, I decided to put it over a bed of ramen noodles, and that's a real sweet potato. This is a fake, or a wild sweet potato, so I'm just going to taste this all by itself. Mmm. You know what? It's meaty. It reminds me of meat, not of a vegetable of any kind. And it kind of absorbs the flavors in the sauce. And it is just really, really delicious. I'm going to have another one right here. Oh, goodness. Mmm. You guys, this is delicious. 
Mm-hmm. That wild, that wild uh, sweet potato root, or whatever you want to call it, it has a very unique texture. I swear, it reminds me of meat. So this is good. So I think I'm just going to call this wild sweet potato stew. Well, just sweet potato stew or potato stew or just some kind of stew. The only thing that would have made it better is if there were wild mushrooms in it. Oh, that would have made it so much better. And maybe some wild greens. So I will try that the next time. Yeah, I'm very, very happy that I've got something growing wild out on my property that I can just harvest and eat. So I'm going to look for a big root in the winter. And now for some chicken TV. I think this one right here is a rooster, the big one with the big comb. And I think Torch is a rooster. Could be wrong. I don't know. What do you think? Kind of hard to tell. Maybe it's just a hen that's maturing more. And look at this one right here. Oh, I'm scaring him. This one's comb is completely black. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at look at how big they're getting. All right, what do you think, guys? You think that one's a rooster too? Or do you think it's a hen? I don't know. The feathers are going up, so I'm sorry that I interrupted your dust bath. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I'll leave. And real quick before I leave today, this is my dad's idea. It is two of those little pellet smoker tubes with boiled eggs on top, and then check what he did next. He made this little uh, metal can thing, drilled some holes in it, put a, um, a handle on it, and put it on top of the two little things in the grill, and then he made smoked boiled eggs. He is a genius. I am definitely gonna try this sometime. Doesn't it look delicious, you guys? Papa and I had to go into town to get some stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this video here and upload it. It's been a great day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.